<laughs> Welcome back to Trail Live, Season 2, Episode 1. We are finally organized. Well, 50%. Kind of. 50% organized. It's a new year, you know, new goals. <laughs> and, season 2, here we go. Oh, and today is my wedding anniversary. Glad I wrote it on here. I wouldn't have remembered. Just kidding. Terrible. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. How many years? 13? Yeah, it's been a while. Longer which than we've means, been running. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Which Longer means that we've, been, we've been running for 11 years. It's pretty good. Yes. So, mm -hmm. happy anniversary. And what else? Oh, long haul. Uh, we are happy to say we've had about, what, 10 screenings now. And uh, we need your help. Yeah, you can do your own screening. Put on a screening. Don't don't email me and don't say, hey, where's the screening in my neighborhood? When are you putting on a screening in my neighborhood? I just say, where are you putting on a screening in your neighborhood? <laughs> That's right. I see you right there. <laughs> yes, go down to your local theater, your local <laughs> running store. Get some chairs, get a projector, you know, download well, you the know, movie. Well, you know, I mean, a lot of people are having a, a big party around doing that. You know, they're getting their community involved. They're signing up. Someone, you know, puts it on, finds a theater. Yeah. And or then, do a fundraiser. We just did yeah. one in Los Angeles. They raised like $900 for, you know, a, a, a pet adoption foundation. I mean, you know, you got a fundraiser you got to put on. Raise some money for your cross-country team, whatever. Just... They're fun too, and it's it's a thirty five minute film, so it's like the perfect hour event, really. Yeah, yeah. Put on some screenings, help Check us get out. get that rolling. That's all online, right? People can find well, that online. It will be. We're redoing our website, but for now, email distribution at journeyfilm dot com. We'll send you a sign up form. Yeah, do it. It's the it's, way to do be it, fun. and have a party, and you know, let us know how it goes. Our goal this year, every other week, we're going to be doing another show. Yep, and then. Every opposite week, if possible, we'll do a little shorter segment when we can. And uh, but yeah. definitely, those every two weeks, there's going to be a yeah. Show, we so. want to get to all the fun races and show you guys some cool video recaps like we've done before, and, and hopefully some more segments, some some training segments, some nutrition segments, you know, interviews with yeah. uh, different types of people. So it's just not all racing and you know things like that. So. Make sure that you're there, you're ready, you're, you're by your computer. And then you you're subscribe, like, and then you'll, you'll know right away that you yeah, we're up. We're up and right going. Right now, so far, we, we haven't built out the Trail Live website, but we do have a Trail Live Facebook page, and we're going to be setting up some other social media outlets, so check out the well, Facebook page. What's your Twitter page. handle? You can tweet oh, us, too. Oh, you can too. tweet me at Journey Film, and she's and, at, at Jen, Jennifer Benna. Jennifer Benna. Yep. Excited about that. And uh, So what happened this last weekend? This was, I mean, we're in January, so always Montreal Ultra Cups get started. Everyone's starting to think about racing. And I think Bandera just happened this last weekend. Yeah, Bandera 100K is the first Montreal Ultra Cup for the year. So we had a few new uh, additions to the Western States, uh, I guess, start list. Yeah. Uh, David Laney, first place, 835, just came off of the... Uh, can I just stop you right there? David Laney had the most incredible mustache I have ever seen. You That's rocked true. that mustache, David think, Laney. Think, you ran lights out, but you rocked the mustache. I think you are earning your way into ultra running with that mustache. It wasn't yeah. your running that did it. It was the mustache. That was legit. But can I just give a shout out to my teammate, Paul Terranova, who kicked some butt, got second place, got his spot at Western, and only ran four minutes slower than David Laney. Uh, Yes. Good job, Paul. That was incredible. And David Laney, by the way, I was just about to mention before I got interrupted. Sorry. Just ran 217 yeah. at California International Marathon. So he's now qualified for the Olympic trials and Western States within yeah. like a, a month a month period. That's a pretty awesome. <laughs> so That's an awesome start. Yep. On that. And then finishing out was Jared Hazen, 847, who's really young. Young guy from Colorado. Yep. So hope to see more from him. And I, the conditions at Bandera, by the way, were, I'm sure everyone's heard, but terrible. That course is notorious. I ran that before. It is notorious for... And when it gets wet, it just turns to sloppy it's mud. Bad. It just like sticks to your shoes. You, you, even if you don't start with hokas, you end with mud hokas. They're like yeah, this it's, big. It's pretty bad. The women, great race again. Um, so happy to see Eliza LaPierre back out there and kicking some booty. 10-17, got her the win. And she, she's just coming off yeah, some injury. injuries. And that's good to see her back. And yeah, I'd like to see her at Western States healthy because she's, she's done really awesome. well there. Nicole Studer got second. Only a few minutes after her, and then Caroline Bowler. I hope we're pronouncing your name right, Caroline. But she's a California runner, got third. Um, so two women got their Western States spots. Exciting, exciting. Yeah. So what's so on this, today? This show, yeah, we've got uh, a few good 
uh, segments. Uh, I interviewed Carl Meltzer. Um, Carl just finished the Appalachian, or he didn't finish the Appalachian Trail, but he attempted a, speed, a second speed record on the Appalachian Trail. And he's uh, decided this year to attempt to run uh, a 200 mile race. Um, and so that got us thinking, well, maybe 200 milers are becoming uh, the new hundred. And uh, so we were doing a whole segment kind of on 200 milers. Um, so inter- I've been intrigued about that. Interviewed Carl, who's gonna be doing one. Interviewed Candace Burt, who put on the Tahoe 200 and also the new Bigfoot 200 and is kind of one of the advocates of the Grand Slam of 200s, which is a new <laughs> thing this year. And I think there's 18 people, 18 crazies out That's there. That's amazing. Are, That's a big number. Yeah. And uh, and then Victor Ballesteros, uh, a good friend of mine from the Bay Area, who's uh, uh, got second place at the Tahoe 200 this year, kind of gives us like a firsthand insight onto what that experience was like, along with some footage of the actual two, Tahoe 200 event. So stick around and um, yeah, uh, welcome uh, Carl Meltzer.